just it it's a sad day. Breaking news tonight at six Boone County's top prosecutor Dan Knight was found dead today in, ho in his home in Columbia. Our crews were at the scene of Memorial Court earlier this afternoon when Columbia Police Chief Geoff Jones confirmed Knight's death to the media. ABC 17's news anchor Lucas Geisler is live from the Boone County Courthouse tonight where Knight worked. Lucas, police are still investigating what happened. Now, Kennedy police have not said just how Knight died, but detectives are still investigating Knight's death at his home on Memorial Court in South Columbia. Now, just a few hours ago, they did clear the scene out there, but still putting the pieces together on what happened. We spoke to Chief Jeff Jones just a few hours ago. At ABC 17's Marina Diaz is joining me here live outside of the Boone County Courthouse where Dan Knight worked. And Marina, police got the call about what happened to Dan Knight earlier this morning. Yeah, Chief Jones told me earlier this morning that they, the Columbia Police Department received a call around 9.30 to an, for an apparent gunshot-related incident. Chief Jones confirmed the death of Boone County Prosecuting Attorney Dan Knight. Jones said that the police department's criminal investigation and its crime scene investigators will thoroughly investigate Knight's death with the help of the Boone County Medical Examiner's Office. The scene was cleared within the last two hours. Knight has been working for the Boone County Prosecu Prosecutor's Office for 29 years and has been the prosecuting attorney for 15 years. Chief Jones says the department is in shock. I think we're all in shock like everybody else. Um, it's sad. He was very dedicated to his position and his work uh, even before he was the elected prosecutor. Jones says that the police department does not believe that any foul play was involved in this incident and there is no threat to the community at this time. It's still waiting to learn as far as the cause and the manner of death as well in this. Of course, that'll be part of police's investigation as it goes on. Marina, thank you very much uh, for, for your reporting on that. Now, I did speak to some in the legal community who knew Dan Knight through his work as prosecutor. As Marina mentioned, he's been around for decades doing work here in Boone County. The Missouri Association of Prosecuting Attorneys called Knight, quote, a passionate advocate and public servant that we will all miss, end quote. Knight served as president of that organization in 2015. Now, Knight, through his time, became the top assistant in the Boone County Prosecutor's Office after several years and became elected prosecutor in 2007. He ran unopposed for that job every year since then. But he announced this year that he would not seek another term after his former assistant, Roger Johnson, announced a run for that office. I spoke with Bill Tackett, the former Cole County prosecutor who's worked with Dan for several years. And Tackett says he'll remember Knight's commitment to preparing for trials, which he says was unrivaled. I've never seen anybody work harder at preparation of a jury trial than Dan Knight. He spent 24-7 when he locked into a jury trial. It was, it was really uh, something we probably won't see again in terms of preparation. Many viewers might remember the Joseph Elledge trial that just wrapped up in November. Again, a two-week trial that Dan Knight handled there uh, and someone who was on it for many years handling that. Now, I also spoke with Tracy Gonzalez, a Boone County judge here who worked with Dan at, even as his top assistant at one point. It was an emotional talk that I had with Judge Gonzalez, and I'll show you what she had to say about Dan Knight, the person, and who he was beyond the bar. That's coming up tonight at 9 and 10. Of course, we'll have continuing coverage of this as it goes along tonight. Reporting live in Columbia, Lucas Geisler, alongside Marina Diaz, ABC 17 News. Lucas, Marina, thank you.